Welcome back to another episode of TMC. We are here with Austin, Brandon, Ryan, and Nick this week instead uh -oh. of Steven. Steven's joining in the chat. You can yell at him. Well, <laughs> shout out, shout out to the uh, to the champ here. I love him as well. However, yeah. I am here hidden oh. behind. Oh, that's not the, the champ. champ. That's just <laughs> Brandon. Ah. Uh. What do you mean? There we go. Oh, it's the champ. Just kidding. We're the same person. <laughs> I can't wait for the champ to get his real name. You sure? <laughs> All right. See this bad boy right here, Nick? You gotta earn one of these. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> All right. Earn the fifteen dollars it costs. We're gonna play some magic tonight. As we normally do, uh, we're just playing regular commander, uh, 40 life total, all the typical shenanigans. Uh, everybody's got a new deck this week, other than, or not brand new, but we haven't played them in a while. Um, oh, Bowser, you couldn't be more right. All right. There you go. All right. Uh, who wants to go first? Uh, I'll go, if um, unless someone else wants to. All right, Brandon, you're up. Uh, yeah. Uh, like I was saying before we went live, I can't remember who it was. I don't remember if it was Violet. It might have even been Bowser. Uh, but somebody requested a Gishath run, and, uh, so I'm here to deliver that. Uh, Gishath's pretty straightforward. Um, it itself is a great big old dinosaur that does dinosaur things, and the rest of the deck is dinosaur tribal. We did dragon tribal last game. This game will do uh, dinosaurs to finally settle the debate. What's stronger? Oh, I like it. All right. I guess I'll go next and we'll let Nick wrap up at the end. This week, I'm bringing back a deck I played a few weeks ago, except it's completely different. Whoa. Oh. I'm going to play Mishra, Tamer of Makfawa, with the companion. Obosh, the Prey Piercer. Nice, nice. So my deck contains only odd converted mana cost cards. Oh. Ooh, okay. Slick. And uh, I'm going to do some stuff. It's mainly built around Mishra's first ability. With the permanents I control have Ward sacrifice a permanent. So we'll see what, <laughs> what kind of shenanigans I can get up to here. I like Ward. Ward's pretty cool. Neat fact. Unfortunately, I couldn't run this combo, but you can Shrionic Resonator Ward triggers. Go slick. <laughs> kind of nasty. Yeah. Hmm. Neat. Austin, you're up. All right. Hey, can you pull me up on the focus mode? I actually oh, built sure. In it. I actually designed an intro. It's been a while since I've designed one of these things. I mean, it looks terrible with our screen set up here. Let me get the last card. Yeah, at least. Uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We need a right. dedicated focus mode layout for this. Dedicated focus yeah. mode layout. All right. Brand new deck. I've got Brimaz of Oreskos. He's a cat. And, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shit. This is not my commander. This isn't the, this isn't the commander deck I built. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> you see, I built Bremaz, but I didn't build this Bremaz. I built Bremaz. this Bremaz. Whoa! Bremaz Blight of Orescos. A 3 4 legendary Phyrexian cat with whenever you cast a Phyrexian creature or artifact creature spell, incubate X, where X is the spell's mana value. At the beginning of each end step, if a Phyrexian died under your control this turn, proliferate. So yes, I built a brand new deck. It works around the brand new incubate mechanic, which is a artifact token that can transform into a Phyrexian. And as you can kind of tell by uh, Grimaz being a Phyrexian, this deck is Phyrexian tribal. So I'm running a lot of new cards from March of the Machines, considered a showcase, uh, stuff like Norn's Inquisitor and Grafted Butcher. Uh, some other big hitters, such as the Obliterator and the Vindicator. Oh, scary. And of course, no Phyrexian uh, deck is complete without some very powerful legendary Phyrexians, which I include Elish Norn, 
Scythrix, the Blight Dragon, and Shieldred among uh, a couple. And so this deck is new, and we're going to try it out tonight. Oh, did they errata uh, Scythrix to be a Phyrexian as well? They eroded a lot of stuff to be Phyrexian. So I'll, I'll up, there's a couple cards in here that don't have the errata on the card, but everything in here should be Phyrexian other than two or three other creatures. All right. What's up, love? Very cool. Giddles is my favorite card in Magic, so I hope you get to play him. All right, let's get back to our normal layout here. Awesome presentation there, Austin. We'll, uh, we'll take note of that one. Yeah, that's exciting. Um, Next right. up, Ryan has the intro videos again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, all right. What do we got, Nick? Um, I have Averno the Chaos Bloom. Uh, as you cascade, I'm going to put a land card from one of the exile cards on the battlefield tapped. Um, I updated this deck recently, kind of hastily, so it's probably a bit uh, suboptimal as far as uh, mana curve goes. But basically, the theme is we're going to cascade. We're going to cascade a lot. We're going to build up critical mass and so we game. Uh, as a sub theme, we're going to landfall because I've done is putting you out extra land drops, and what's better than extra landfall triggers? So. Heck yeah. yeah. Teamer ramp oh, stuff. Yeah. What I heard. Oh. Yeah, te teamer cascade landfall ramp. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I'm hoping to play a lot of jank cards, and I hope y'all have a good time with me. I do not expect to win or expect to live very long. <laughs> so, I feel like getting it's trampled like by dinosaurs. dinosaurs is probably what's going to happen to me. Very likely. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we'll go out for a quick intro. We'll be back rolling up to see who goes first and kicking this thing off. Don't forget to get your prediction in in the next few minutes. That's it. And we'll be right back. Probably Nick. <laughs> All right. Uh. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Nice. We're getting set up here. I rolled a 12. 12, huh? A 12. I rolled a 15. A 2. Title. Unfortunately. Sorry, title. Wear a belt, you're in a title, folks. Oh, I rolled a nat 1. <laughs> oh! I'm not going last, <laughs> actually. 20. That is not the 20. Alright, I will be going the second. Alright, so move me. There we go. I gotta move myself. All right, Nick, you are up first. See if we'll have right. keepable hands. Uh, I'm ready to go. All right, I got hands good enough. Uh, yeah, I'll keep, keep my opening hand as well. You All right. Signs? At this time, we would just like to remind you that this uh. Show was brought to you by nothing else than me and Steven's pure salt at each other while playing Magic. True. That is the uh, the heart and soul of this entire. Uh, I don't know really what you would call whatever it is we're doing here, but <laughs> we're doing it, folks. The amount we of salt they produce it. would have made them millionaires uh, a couple centuries ago. Who won the prediction? It's still counting down right now. So if you have not voted yet. Put your votes in up at the top of the chat. Hit the little purple box that says predict. Uh, right now, Ryan's in first place. I put 100 points on him. Somebody has put 65 <laughs> points on Austin, so good luck, Austin, there. Me and Nick sitting with no points, no faith, and honestly, no skill. So, people, hey, look, pe it's Mike. People it's Mike. must not know Nick very well. He hasn't played with us a lot lately. But, I mean, I think when TMC started, he won like 75% of the games for... The first two months. <laughs> Violet, press that button up there. However, you did it last week. You did. You figured it out. I know you won a bunch of points. You won like eleven thousand points. Let's see the points in the prediction. I've got my incubator. Steven, oh, we need your prediction too. To Put your points in there. Steven voted for Austin. It, it, the chat lies. Oh, is that the the chat five? chat rats him out. And awesome to have uh, you back, Lotto. Love to see you, man. Hey, Lotto. Lotto. Are we ready, everybody? Yeah, I'm ready. 
I'm looking for the sleeve marks for these sleeves, and I don't know where it is, as I don't know what color they are. It looks awesome, though. I am rocking the tangerine. Rocking the tangerine dragon shields myself. No, but I'll look Got, uh, later. I believe these are orchids. Those Ooh, nice. are nice, too. I like that a lot. <laughs> All right, I'll draw. Mine are just called Caucasian, I believe. <laughs> Remember, I'm coming down to pass. All right, uh, I'm going to draw for turn. I will play a Marsh Flask, and I'll go ahead and fetch. Hey, I'm gonna uh, take. Three. Go ahead and get my shock land. Blood crypts. Hell yeah, Violet. We're gonna do some dinosaur stuff. Then I'm gonna pay one and play a Wayfarer's Bible. Alright. Turn one place, folks. And I'll pass turn. Here we go. Draw a card. I will play a Vault of Champions. And tap it for white. Play a swooping lookout. Two flying vigilance. The vote for Timber Cascade is a vote for Joe Biden. Joe Biden. <laughs> and political on. All right, pass. Here we go. I'm just going to throw down a temple garden and let it actually come in tap, and I'll pass my turn. Hey, just like me. Yep. We're, uh, we draw. we're on the same page here, Nick. Like my video a little bit. I get it. Mm, they have a real unexciting hand. Uh, we'll play a trap by arms. And uh, that'll be it. I'll pass. Nice. Nick playing that land go magic over there right now. Draw. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to play a swamp. Swamp? And then I'm going to go ahead and pass turn. Yeah. Okay. Tap, draw. I will play a command tower. Uh, this song reminds me of The Sims. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting controlled. Makes me think of like the start and end credits to the old Red vs. Blue DVDs. Back, back in the day. <clears throat> Blu-rays, for those of you who might know what those are, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and crack yeah, my bottle. I actually just threw away a Blu-ray, uh, like, case and everything that had never been opened because I accidentally bought it and I've never in my life owned a Blu-ray player. You have a PlayStation or anything? Xbox? Okay, I guess nope. you're right. Yep. <laughs> no. We actually realized the other day we have nothing in the house that can play a disc at all. And uh what a combo. I won't do anything. Uh, I'll roll a die. One, two, Brandon, three, four, Nick, five, six, right. One, so Brandon just one. No! First blow. So he's chosen <laughs> death, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> but all else to play with play like five cards. Uh Soul Ring, Skull Clamp, and uh Skrill Type. The new white, yeah, bitter blossom that doesn't. Oh, you do like it doesn't make yeah. blockers. Though. I'm, I'm having a feeling yeah, that having a feeling that Austin's deck is like half the CMC average of ours. <laughs> yeah, it's, probably, I but. think it's <laughs> it's like 3.5, I believe, average. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty low compared to my dinosaurs. He just hit all the one drops in the deck already. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna cast three visits. And uh, that'll be my turn as I go find a forest. Uh, where? 3.03 without lands. <laughs> I don't have a list to give me the number off the top of my head, but considering I can't play even magic cards, it's oh, going to be no. high. Oh, <laughs> no. It'll be pretty, pretty high. I'll play Taiga. I'll pay three. I'll play Risen Reef. 
Whenever him or another elemental enters the battlefield, look at the top card. It's a land, it may put it on the battlefield. If they don't, put it in my hand. Uh, it's a land, put it in, it's pretty cool. And I'm just gonna put it in tapped, so I can take damage. And I'll pass turn. I got a stomping ground because I want to be like Nick. Alright, I'm going to... Oh, you shocks and two... Uh, unlimited duels. Yeah. I'll play Verdict Catacomb as my land for turn, and then I'm gonna pay three. And play a Staff of Domination. Dominate me. I mean, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, what? what? <laughs> uh, you, you told him. I have gotta get water. And I'll pass turn. Yep. On tap. Uh, draw. What does that do? That's a lot of things. Oh, that's cool. I like that card. Create a Phyrexian Might. Lose a life. Um, it does everything. That's a cool card. I'll tap my Soul Ring to attack and float one colorless to attach it to the Might. Kill it. Draw two cards. Uh, I'll play planes. Cards I drew. Oh, y'all just wait till I get eight mana. It's over for y'all. Uh, using the low loading. Speaking one. Of dinosaurs. I think I still have some VHS, Violet. I'll pay here and cast Dark Ritual, adding three black. Shout out, Mr. Cool. I need some kind of way to keep track of all my mana now, unfortunately. Yeah, three black and then one colorless. I'm going to tap here for a uh, tap here for a white and use one of the colorless and the two other black. For my commander. And then I have two mana after that. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, wait, no, I've got. Yep. Yep. Oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, I will use it to attach Skull Clamp to my Swooping Lookout. The HD DVD DVD DVDs. Man, everything about that card is cool. Like the art's badass. Everything it does is cool. Which art? Which card? The your, your commander. commander. Oh yeah, the uh, the purple art worked well with the sleeves because I had the sleeves before this. Uh, five. So Ryan, uh, just uh, two in the air. Two. All right. Yeah, it's yeah, it's got the uh, skull clamp on it. Uh, and at the beginning of an end step, uh, if Phyrexian I controlled died under this my turn, but I don't have anything to proliferate, so I uh, pass. Alrighty. We will untap and draw. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pitch just to get out of the way. Dang, dude, I got four mana, huh? I think I just keep doing what I'm doing, huh? If it ain't broke, don't break it. I'll pay three mana and I'll cast a Kodama's Reach. Let's go grab a Sulfurous Mire and just land in your battlefield. Yeah. Uh, one to the hand. Right, I'll uh, put a. Good old Kodama's Reach. Kodama's Reach. I'll put a Forest on the battlefield and i will go grab this lovely uh mountain here and that'll be my turn i'll pass all right i'm not dead so i'll take my turn that's how i feel <laughs> but you're winning dude what are you talking about um... 
winning is a relative term, isn't it? Relatively, uh, right now you're winning. You got the most health. <laughs> I'm concerned, but you're a winner, dude. Uh, Target Nick. I'm gonna do it. Too friendly. Okay. Uh, we'll pay three and play Averna. Uh, Averna right. is an elemental, so that'll trigger Risen Reef. Boom. Pop card. It is a forest. So it nice. Ends. Inner's tapped. Yeah. Yep. Inner's tapped. The, the tap. Yeah. Doesn't. Yep, it is tapped. Yep. It's okay. I can't play anything. Um. Fortunately, I don't have any landfall triggers. I'll play Is It Polar Works and bounce that forest to my hand. Nice. Uh, and then I don't think swinging for one's gonna be very uh, nice of me, so I'll just pass. I agree. All right, untap. Draw for turn. I'm gonna I play to a dragon skull to, uh, summit. Dinosaurs that are really good. They need to go in here. I'm gonna pay five and run out my commander. Mishra, Tamer of Makbawa. Makbawa. I'm going to pass it around the table. One tap. Draw. There's a cat meowing at me. <laughs> oh, you're in trouble now. I know, right? I did something wrong. Oh, I, uh, I create a Phyrexian Might. I lose one life. Uh, I will tap three, two black and a white, and I will cast a Phyrexian, a uh, Gix, Yogmoth Crater, which will trigger Brismaz. So I get an incubator token with three counters on it. Uh, then I will go to combat, and since I've poked everybody else, I'll poke uh, Nick for two. Uh, I'll poke two. Okay. 38. Uh, then I will play the land Orzhov Basilica and I will return uh, this planes with my hand. Then I will tap the soul ring to equip the might and skull clamp. Uh, draw two cards off that. Uh, go to end step and I proliferate. So the counter on here goes up to four. And then I pass. Ready. A Jord question: Does he play a dinosaur, or does he play more ramp? Ooh. Or does Wouldn't he play a dinosaur? Like <laughs> or does he play a dinosaur that is ramp? Wouldn't she Best like of both worlds. No. Uh, okay. Let's see. So, what creatures we got on the board? We got that guy. Should target my guy with something. No, I don't want to do that. That doesn't <laughs> do much of anything for me there. Okay, so I'm going to play this uh, secluded courtyard for my land drop. Nice. What are you uh, going to name I think, that card? I think I'll name a dinosaur that's, on that that's one. That's crazy. Just Very this nice. time. Just this mm -hmm. time. I mean, that dinosaur's extinct, right? Well, mm. that's what they want you to think, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five green mana. And I'm going to throw out a Gigantosaurus. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ten, ten. He's just a big old uh, <laughs> smooth brain 1010 dinosaur here. Um, I like it. I like it. And that's about all he does. Uh, 
I'll pass turn as uh -huh. I reminisce. Y'all remember this? There was a movie about some dinosaurs and they came into the future to eat cereal. Remember that? They got no. smart because they were eating cereal. Somebody <laughs> knows what I'm talking about. Uh, will they admit it? <laughs> All right, those of y'all in the chat, Google that stuff. See what happens. Dinosaur King. TMC is not liable to what happens to you. Hold on. Dinosaur King says Violet. I don't. Hold on. Let me look up Dinosaur King. I don't know if that. There was like a crazy scientist who went back in time in a UFO and he fed dinosaur cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Steven's got a no, point it here. Wasn't, wasn't <laughs> Hold on. All right, Kiora. I like Kiora. Oh boy, oh, I've seen this one before. On tap, my a boy works here. Nice one, man of planeswalker. Pretty much. We're back. That's what it was called. <laughs> We're back. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I'm talking about? The Def name's familiar. I've never definitely seen it. not, but yeah, that's it. I Shout out, we're a... back, smooth brain dinosaurs, dude. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Where the hell is my dinosaur? Here we go. <laughs> what I want to do with this knowledge is the one thing I don't know how to answer. Where the hell is my dinosaur? Yeah, I just watched Land Before Time, dog. <laughs> Yes, I am. <laughs> we trying to eat tree leaves. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here we go. There he is. How's that? The gigantosaurus coming for There's me? There's my gigantosaurus coming in to attack oh somebody God. next turn. <laughs> <laughs> the animation budget. TMC getting out of hand. Over the top. Oh my uh, God. I think I'm just going to hold my man up and pass turn. That's interesting. Untap. Oh. oh my god, there's three of them. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't particularly like everything that's going on, but I'm not going to do anything to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play three and play a Crucible of Worlds. Uh, I'm gonna replay my Verdant Catacombs from the graveyard. I'm gonna go ahead and fetch. Oh no! The heck! And I'll grab a swamp, and then I'm gonna pay three and play a Worn Power Stone tapped. All right, it's one of the juicy artifacts over there. And then I'll pass turn. I wish this card in my hand was better. Be sure to make Doc that extortionist. I hate that. Of course I know him. He's me. I was playing. If only that was a dinosaur. <laughs> Things can happen. <laughs> life uh finds a way. <laughs> life uh finds a way. I'll lose a life again. Alright, I played a planes. Play this card. Three points. Yeah, you're talking about the, uh, um, Oh wait, I have enough mana. Okay, never mind. Tyrannix Rex or whatever it's called. I know. I need to put that one in here. And I need to put there's a battle that I need to put in here. Um I'm playing Archaeomancer's map. Uh when I enter the battlefield, search your library for up to two basic planes, cards, reveal them, put them into your hand to shuffle. And then whenever a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, if they control more lands than me, I may put a land from my hand up. 
Yeah, I'll shuffle my deck real quick. Yeah, I gotta get the uh, the new uh, Atali Tyrannix Rex. Uh, maybe the Kogla and Yadaro, and then there's this battle. Get the uh, Imperiosaur that, you, that like <laughs> has Convoke. Be like, oh Kong. yeah, that guy. It's pretty cool. I've got a couple of copies of him now. That Atali would be cool to build. He's just like. As soon as he hits the board, he's like the biggest target ever. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to remove, remove him right there. You're dead. Okay. Uh. Then I will pay. Let's go to combat. Swing. Uh, my might and my swooping lookout. Uh, I'll send the might. I'll send them both at uh, Brandon because he's the highest life total. So this one doesn't have flying. This one has flying. How much mana do you have open? Um, four. Mm. I wouldn't expect any combat tricks. So. Okay, I'll just block the might with my ten ten dinosaur then. Get touch. That's <laughs> yeah, <so I> like, <laughs> uh, uh. got toxic, but it doesn't have touch. Yeah. <laughs> You got open okay, mana. Uh, when deals, <laughs> uh, whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of my opponents, its controller may pay one life. They do draw a card, so I'll pay a life to draw. Okay. Uh, ah, screw that violet. Throw it in there anyway. Just don't tell them until they're dead. Then laugh at them. Second main phase, I'll pay four and cast a Rhea Evor, Blade of or Bane of Bladehold, uh, the Phyrexian Knight, so I get another Incubator token. You have to embrace the toxic violet. Four. Come on, little dice. Come on, little dice. All right. Uh, and it says at the beginning of combat on your turn, the next time target creature would deal combat damage to one or more players, prevent that damage. If damage is prevented this way, create that many 1 1 colorless Phyrexian Might Artifact creature token. It also has Battle Cry. Uh, then I will go to end step. Uh, Phyrexian died, so I'll proliferate. And then I'll pass Exactly. It. Now you're getting it, Violet. All right, well. Austin's getting pretty scary down there, huh, fellas? It's been kind of scary the whole time, bro. Yeah. yeah. Got all these metal things down there. Metallic. Jeez. Okay. Um... None of this is great, to be honest with you. I'll play this mountain. I can put a land for my hand onto the battlefield. Uh, let's just go back to our original plan, huh? That plan was fun. I'll pay two mana. And I'll cast a Thunder Herd Migration. Uh, I'll reveal a dinosaur as the additional cost. I'll reveal the Ruinic... Runic Armasaur here. Uh, and I'll search my library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. Uh, we'll go get this planes here. We'll be fine. Grab that. Uh, and when you do, I can put another land onto the battlefield because you can throw more lands. Uh, yeah. You shuffle her up here. Six. All right. Oops. Uh, that gives me one, two, three, five mana left. Huh? Let's do that. Or why not? We'll just do this. I'll pay another three, and I'll cast the runic armasaur there. Epic. Uh, yeah. I wish he was better, but he is not. So. Uh, whenever an opponent activates an ability of a creature or land that isn't a mana ability, you may draw a card. Yeah, I mean, the... pretty slick. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it'd be I mean, nice if anybody had. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I just wish, you know, I could draw cards. Like, there's nothing on the board right now that draws me a card outside of Gix, I believe, and I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Hmm. So, uh, we'll go to combat. I mean, when, when Ryan dominates think... us with the staff, you get to draw off that. Mm -mm. Uh, no, it's not a creature, it's a creature or, land. or land. 
That's what I'm saying. I wish it was a good card. A good card would be everything, but no, it's a creature. <laughs> um. All right. What's scary? What does Battle Cry do? Um. When it attack. Whenever this creature attacks, each other attacking creature gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. So it makes all his mites scary. Not yeah. they're, or not already scary. They turn into two ones, and I don't have any mites at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, but they don't deal two poison counters. They only deal one. Yeah, they only deal one. They'll the, only the deal one. Nerf. Yeah, to... Toxic. Oh, okay. Toxic's a little one. nerf. That's right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so it's not as scary. Yep. Um. So that's a three. But he can incubate at any time. Those are five fives down there, huh? Yep. Okay, that's scary too. Well, Instant I'm going to leave that problem to somebody else, I guess. And instead, what's that Planeswalker do? I untap my lands and draws cards if I play creatures with greater, with power four or greater. Hmm. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, I'll just swig at the Planeswalker with a 10 10. That's what we'll do. I'm going to respond before it blocks. Oh no. I'm going to natural reclamation targeting skull clam. Hey. Escade. Um, so, so it's on Austin the stack and I have to I'm letting him cast scooters. Yeah, My skull my clamp. Yeah, I figured that's the best thing on the board. It draws me two cards if every turn I equip uh, it to a might, so yeah. <laughs> Every turn. <laughs> Every turn. Yeah. Yes. Not wrong there. Uh, um, counter spell. Retreat to Kazandu is what I hit off the Cascade. Um, yeah. So I'll, I'll play that. And then I guess that'll resolve unless you have a response. Uh, nope. Uh, Skull Clamp disappears, baby. To the yard. Oh, therefore, uh, the grace of God, it was not me. All right. Uh oh, man. <laughs> uh oh, Nick. Man. Here he comes. <laughs> He's spinning now. <laughs> oh, holy Jesus Christ. Spinning. Um, I think it was in trouble, right? Oh, Lord. He's coming. Oh, no. No, no, it's, it's, like the, it's like the key art on the uh, pre release kits. Oh, that's awesome. sick. I love that. <laughs> He's just falling. How, How did he get there? The, that's the thing about this whole set is everyone just randomly flying for no reason. <laughs> like, oh, they fly, yeah. they fly now. <laughs> Um, exactly. I think I need to keep her alive. Um, I'll block a Risen Reef. Alright. He stopped and, for and now. Be, and, and be sad. Let me see. One, two, I'll three, three four. <laughs> I'll pass turn. Yeah. If Nick plays a land, he could quadruple cascade. What he has that, that card. Oh, if I have that card, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's the worst thing I can think of that would be in his deck for 10 mana? <laughs> Quadruple Cascade? Yeah, that seems pretty good. <laughs> Wish I didn't have a land when I Cascaded. Uh... I can feel my mustache grow when this song comes on. <laughs> well, play to grain and play in search of greatness. Search of greatness. I do that Great every party. day. Hey, man, brother. I ain't found shit yet. <laughs> What's that card? Is this a great piece? Uh, then we're gonna play. Whoa, hold on, what? One, two, three. Here's the test of permanent. Four? We're gonna play Wild Magic Sorcerer. That uh, has four power, so when it enters, I'll draw a card. And that says the first spell I cast my out each turn has Cascade. Is it just me, or is that a pretty powerful effect for two green mana? <laughs> it's pretty it's good. good. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I, I can't mad believe it's so overlooked all the time. Like, that it's needs really to be good. in this deck. Nobody ever plays it. And I play it in this deck because it doesn't just let me put the card out. It just it lets me cast it. 
So I get all the triggers. Yeah, so right, he, he gets to play it for free, and he gets to cascade off of it. Yeah, and when he cascades off of it, it gains cascade now. Yeah, I, <laughs> I could just be dropping six drops for free right now at this point. Yeah, that card needs to go in this deck now. Yeah. So does this just trigger indefinitely until you run out of mana cost? Oh, it's just the first. Spell. It's just the first spell. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Upkeep, I can cast the spell for free for yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'll talk about the wild magic sorcery. Oh no, 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 no. It's just the yeah. first spell from you cast from exile. Otherwise, yeah. yeah, it would like loop through your whole deck, right? You go forever. It'd be an infinite combo on one card. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Uh, you and me both. Have you seen Displacer Kid? Um. Well, I. I'll play land and gain two life. No land full trigger. Uh, that's why I'm sad my reason if it's dead. My turn would be way cooler if it's still alive. Yeah. Dinosaurs get yeah, hungry, dog. I don't know what else to tell might, you. Might as well. I'm telling like Risen Reef. Boiler works. Pay for and play Omnoth. Woohoo! The Royal. Oh and boy. Time, baby. And I can deal damage equal number of elementals. There's only two, so I can deal two damage to anything. Target, um, target, my guy. <laughs> target your guy. That, if they target me too, that's probably a bad idea. Um, there's only one thing on the board I can kill. Uh, that's Austin's one two that flies. My one so two that flies. I'm just gonna kill that. No. Sorry, Austin. Austin's like combat trait. Give it plus one plus one. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> what if I kill the three three? The Brandon killed my elementals. Um. Kill your elemental on your own. So. Okay. I mean, you can become a plane blocker, and it's a little bit better than the elemental was, so I had to save it. Uh, then I'll pass turn. At the end of your and turn, because slant. because a Phyrexian died under my control, uh, I proliferate. Yep, yeah. So killing your dude makes your dudes bigger. It's almost like a benefit for you. Like, this is a fair trade deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tilted. I'm trying to source this angry that doesn't have stats. cereal. Whoever looks like sure. they got cereal, that's who he's coming <laughs> after. Shout out, we're back. He's trying to calm down. <laughs> oh, well, perfect. Right on time. Oh, right on time, baby. Um, Interesting. Ryan's about to wipe the board, baby. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Bur burning Catacombs is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. You got seven lands now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Many as me. Eight nine. That's all. That's fine. You got that feel of the dead. I wish. N no, my Archaeomancer's map. I just need to keep track of. Ah, gotcha. Archaeomancer's map's fun. I think I've got seven, eight, one, two. Three. So how how does everybody feel about maybe everything on the board dying? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm fine with it because it I, seems I would, very scary. I wouldn't like it very much. I mean, I wouldn't like it, but like, what is everything? You mean all the creatures? You mean all permanents, mm -hmm. excluding land? I I could be convinced. So the the only thing that bothers me about killing creatures is it does nothing about Austin sleeping six sixes. The Inky Beats. <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of fun like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're fun like that. I like that. Yeah, I mean, if you blew up all creatures and artifacts, I don't think I'd care. All creatures and artifacts? That seems pretty bad for me. It sounds like a bad trade deal. Yeah. But you asked. You were like, what are those away? <laughs> I'm fine with you blowing up anything you want. I feel like I have to because, like, everyone's played three. Well, Brandon somehow just didn't value, seems to be ahead of me. <laughs> but it feels like everyone else, everyone other than Brandon's played, like, three times as many cards as me. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. Brandon, I apologize. So you have seven lands? Correct. I have. I have eight. I, I only have six, so I have to put another land in. Okay. I think you would anyway, right? I had a, I I had a soul ring. I had a soul ring mixed in with my lands. So ah. That's why I, okay. Okay. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go to combat. And.
I'll swing four at Nick's planeswalker. Hey. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to kill my planeswalker. <laughs> <laughs> Those planeswalkers are scary, Nick. You trying to trade with me, son? I was trying to draw cards over here. Oh, I don't um, like it. Do that. I think that's the biggest problem I have with this deck is it doesn't draw cards because cards like this suck and it, it needs to get taken out. <laughs> no, it's good. It just depends on the pod. I know. Um, I really like it. Combat trick that me Somebody drop that mate. Sure. If <laughs> you don't block, I'm going to hatred it. Three <laughs> <laughs> trade commanders? Is that what it's not my decision here? Hmm. Hmm. I'll just block with my commander. Alright, sounds good. Our commanders do, in fact, die. Unless you're combat tricking me. Hmm? Hmm? I don't get that. Alright. <laughs> Second main, I'm gonna pay five. And I'm gonna crux of fate, naming non dragons. Wait, see, I figured they're all gonna die anyway. Uh, I have response. Oh no. Save our boards, Austin. Uh, and they shall know no fear. Uh, choose a creature type. Creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one, plus zero, and gain indestructible. Oh, uh, so that's, I'll choose, not, that's not us. I'll choose uh, Phyrexians. <laughs> sure. Oh no. Can you make my guys Phyrexians real quick? Yeah, let me, let, let, me get, uh, let me get the card that makes everything the same creature. Yeah, dude, I need to... Does Masswood Nexus affect Wait, other I people's creatures? Or is it only yours? It might just be only I will pass the turn. Uh, creatures you control. Never mind. Mm. All right, y'all's turn to board wipe. Yeah, y'all need to step up your board wipe. I'm scared. Where's my hold on? Boom! Phyrexian might time to be. Yeah, that's exactly what I look like right now, Violet. I'll play a fabled passage, and I'm gonna crack, crack it. Uh, search for a basic land, put it on some field. Well, one person's deck has done something this game. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't even know where Austin, like, got the extra 12 cards. Uh, a skull clamp. A skull clamp, like, three times. Time. Yeah. 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 Neat. And, uh, I think I used Gix once. Yeah, it's my blue skull clamp, but... If y'all want to draw some cards, I mean, that's if y'all want to draw some cards, all you got to do is hit somebody. Yeah, that's what I said at the beginning. The combo was nasty. That uh, the hive plus skull clamp is just every turn two cards. Yep, yep. And it also triggers into Brimaz. It's very nice. Uh, yeah. If yeah, you yeah. control four Great more turn. lands, untap that land. What counts as a historic permanent again? Uh, Artifacts, legendary, and sagas. sagas. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. That... Uh, I'll pay three and cast a Phyrexian Arena. Very nice. Got that that foil yep. Phyrexian Phyrexian Arena. Uh. Or this really old and time has its own theme. One, two, three, four, five. I will cast uh, Moira and Teshar. Uh, flying for five. Whenever you cast a historic spell, return target non land permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Gains haste. Exile at the beginning of the next 10 step. It would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. So this card's really cool if you build around it as commander. Because if you fl if you can flicker whatever you do or what you have, it'll negate the uh, exile oh, at the beginning of your next end step, the, so, you, so you can have something though. permanently. So if you yeah. this, this is this is a lot more powerful than Brimaz if you build around it. But I thought Brimaz would be more fun. I like the Brimaz art way better. Brimaz art just makes me think of um, an Elden Ring boss. Exactly. That's what I love about it. I feel like yeah, he's got this. Just he's got this giant ass island. sword. Yeah. <laughs> looks Look like at his muscles, dude. He's ripped, dude. I love ripped. it. 
Uh, He'd give the champ a run for his money, I tell you that. So let's go to combat. Plus he's got like the badass Majin completion in the middle of his forehead. So I'll swing. Um, we get Evor, Blade of Bade, Blade, Blade Hold at Nick. And then I'll also swing. Uh, Grimaz at Brandon. And I'll swing Gix at Nick's Planeswalker. Stop tagging the Planeswalker. Uh, <laughs> I'll choose uh, when Brimaz deals damage to a player, uh, cancel it out and create that many uh, mites with uh, his ability. So uh, I've also got the uh, Battle Cry. So uh, Brimaz will be a 4 or 5, and Gix will be a 4 or 4. Okay, okay, I, so... have, I have a response. Okay. Uh, I'll pay one white and I'll path for Um uh, Exile target creature. Yep, and you get a basic. And I get. Search your library for a basic. Take... Yep. Yeah. Me, me and Planeswalker take four, right? Yeah, it'll take. Uh, uh, no, you'll, you're, you're playing. Uh, what did I attack with? Gates. Ruba into. Okay, yeah, so you'll take four. Let's make sure. Okay. Uh, so you can see that correctly. I'll pay one life to draw a card off of Gix. The path land in your step. Yep. yep. I'm on my second draft of the new set right now on Arena and uh, the deck. I haven't played a game with it yet, but I just drafted Rakdos, Sacrifice, Incubate. Ish style. Nice. It's probably not good, but we'll see. Where do you go on Arena to put in those pre-release codes they give you? Because I've got a couple codes. I have no idea. Where I don't know. You go to the store. Never... It's in the store. And there's a redeem like type in box. Is there still? Because they changed it now. Because no. oh, you know. don't redeem codes anymore. They just you know you used to redeem codes at the beginning and they give you three packs. Mm -hmm. Now they just there's a mail system, so you just log in and you click claim your packs instead of having to have codes so i don't i don't know if the redeem is i don't know how you do it i've never done it Probably buried somewhere in the menu options maybe in the store yeah. still yeah it's a very uh easy menu to find things in so i'm sure it won't take me any time at all to find it no and when i cast um moira into Shar earlier i get a uh, five incubate sorry oh nice okay and uh I think I'll pass turn. Alrighty. Uh, I will untap all here. this land <laughs> and draw. Um, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would imply we play good amounts of removal in our yeah. particular meta. And that's not usually the case. <laughs> I'm going to play this forest. And, uh,. How many lanes do you have, Brandon? That I believe would be nine. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okay. Um, I think it's time, boys and girls. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I'll leave the temple garden untapped. And I will throw down a Gishaf. Yeah. Oh Lord, here he come. There he is. No, Brandon, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say you <laughs> probably want to make some decisions here, okay. and I think those decisions probably don't point that dinosaur at me. <laughs> okay, that's what you say, huh? Well, yeah. I wouldn't recommend sending a dinosaur at Austin. You, well, I can see why. <laughs> um. You can't block it all, okay? No, I was kidding, you can. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, well, he can... How much mana do you have open? Oh, he's got definitely got the Soul Ring, so he can at least pop out one 6-6 six, six Incubate to trade and kill Gishath, so that's he's not happening. Sounds like you should hit Ryan. Ryan's, oh. threat <laughs> Ryan's threatening <laughs> me. <laughs> Ryan's threatening me. So what I'm going to do is... 
I boink, <laughs> yes, that is what I'm gonna do, Nick. But but I could also hit you for six and kill your planeswalker, and I'm not gonna do that. So Oh, I don't even gotta tap him. I'm gonna swing uh Gishath at Nick for seven damage. What's that you do the fact that not to swing at my planeswalker, but you're already swinging at it, so <laughs> Well, you know. I could have killed it, and now I uh, stomp right over the top of her. Yeah, yeah I can't. Look okay. at your seven cards. Let's see what downstairs you get. Yeah, I hope I get something. Uh, so I just flip seven, huh? That's not a dinosaur. That's a snake, allegedly. Two. No. It's a turtle, dog. Three. No. Oh, no. Four. Oh, thank you. Hey. Five. Yes. Six. You get an ETB, too. Seven. There's a dinosaur on the art. Um. <laughs> what was that counted? Where do these go? Uh, rest on the bottom in a random order. Okay. Those big ass cave and dinosaurs. It's pretty dope. I got Topiary dinosaurs. Stomper. Okay. Uh, Topiary Stomper. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield. Tap and shuffle. I will do that now. I'll get uh, another land entering yep. off of that. I'm tired of Austin having every card he needs. This is getting ridiculous. I'm only down to one card, Ryan, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm running out of uh, power at this moment. Artifacts, Ryan. And then Austin will be dead in the water. Right. Only got a couple artifacts too. So Pierce Stomper is turned on. I do have seven or more lands, so he's a four-four vigilance. And Ripjaw Raptor is a four-five. And whenever he's dealt damage, I draw a card. There is that card draw. Uh, I'll pass turn. All right, it's doing right upkeep. I get a Shoot Your Goodness trigger. I can my highest CMC card is a three, so which means I can play a four for free. I don't have a four, so I scry one. Let's put that on the bottom. He's in search of that greatness. He didn't find okay. it yet. I'm so jealous he has that card. I don't find anything. <laughs> uh, I'll play this island. Are you gonna landfall trigger? I do, I gain two life. Um What do I do? Uh is it board works? Open ground. That could do better than I expected. Builders. It looks fun to play too. I'll if play you like Pyrexians. Yep. I'm gonna draw a trigger from Kiora. I was telling Steven today, I was talking to him earlier, that I'm a little bored of the majority of the decks that I have around right now. So I need to like just sit down and create a whole new catalog. Get me like Big seven new things going. Yeah, that's a good idea. But I gotta find time to do that. That's the hard part. Hmm. I was telling Ryan earlier, we need to start playing Plane Chase again. Yeah! Mix it up a little bit. Those new Plane Chase cards. I've got a Plane Dice. I'm, oh, I've been <laughs> getting the itch to build a new Popper deck anyway. Yeah, Popper would be fun too. Got I found another Popper, popper Commander I'd like to do. I've been designing Popper, I haven't built any. I've got a bunch of deck lists now. I just ordered. Savala! Nice. Savala. Savala. So we went back into Averna, into Savala. Yep, and then I'll just pass. Alright, you're in step. I'm gonna pay two and tap my staff, to gain a life, but then I'm just gonna fetch. <laughs> Whenever another creature enters the battlefield. Okay, I think I I like that uh, card. Nick. Um, yeah, so it's only gonna make you draw cards, Brandon, and no one else. I'm a fan of this. Don't worry, if you attack me, it'll be the first thing that blocks. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a geothermal Brandon's ball. Brandon's gotta get something bigger than his Gishath. Yeah, I gotta find something bigger than a seven. It's possible they're in here. Geothermal like ball. Get the incubators up. That high, but they they've already entered and they're not creatures, so they won't trigger that way. Ah, uh, yeah, because it's just, a, it's like yeah. a transform. It'll transform. It's it's a transform. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to untap and draw for my turn. Draw. Oof. 
Mm. Unfortunate. Yeah, I got a bunch of them. Different, <laughs> they have three different verses. Oh, that's cool. Disgustingly. I'll replay Verdant all Catacombs. So sick. I love it all. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and fetch again. Don't worry, Nikki. That time. <laughs> hmm. That was fun. Be neat if I could find a red fetch land, so I wouldn't have to just fetch oh, all my spots. All these people over here, Violet, playing decks they gotta think about. Me and you, buddy, we're on the same wavelength. Big dinosaur, turn it sideways. Actually, most of them you don't. Just let them stomp around, dude. That's what we're here to do. Just stomping around, bro. Dinkins for blockers. I'm trying to keep everything visible on my board. It's good. It's hard. I understand. I don't really know what I want to do because all the cards in my hand are pretty, pretty awful in this given situation. How many cards do you have in hand? Four. Uh, I've got two. Got one. Oh, I think I could start drawing here pretty soon with the Ripjaw Raptor, maybe if it stays alive. Okay, I'm back. Am I dead? Nah, you didn't miss the damn thing. We're only on the okay. like, second fetch. Like, I wish. Alright. <laughs> it's only the second fetch, maybe. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm gonna pay five. And play that. The, 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 the eldest of reborn. reborn. Maybe. Ooh. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or a planeswalker. <clears throat> That's a. Uh... I don't like that. Oh, uh, might back the top topier stomper, I guess. Hmm. Well, if I Which... just check it, no one will attack it. <laughs> That's only got like one life left or one loyalty left, so. All right. I have to draw my cards every time I play a creature for most of my creatures, but. Ugh. I don't have enough cards. I'll pay five and improvise for two? Question mark? What? And play one of my favorite jank cards of all time, <laughs> the Herald of Anguish. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Uh, he's a 5-5 five, five flyer, and at the beginning of my end step, each opponent discards a card every turn. Uh, nasty. Nasty. And then I can sacrifice artifacts to minus two, minus two stuff. But... I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'll go ahead and go to my end step. You guys discard a card. I discard a smuggler. Sure. I'll discard a sacred foundry. All right. I wonder if that blood moon would wreck Brandon. It would. Uh. uh it would still be there. What? Probably wouldn't be as fun. All right. Oh yeah. I was hoping you'd have it. All right, Austin. Back to you. All right. At the beginning of my turn, I lose two life. I create another Might, and I draw an additional card. Ooh, not good. Not good, ladies and gentlemen. That's not a bad idea. There's a couple of creatures in here that aren't dinosaurs, but I don't think there's many. I think it's probably worth taking them out to do the same thing. All right, I'll play a Swamp. And I think I'm going to replay my commander. Six. Three, four, five, six. For Brumaz. Blight of Orskelos. No! Oh, and uh, whenever you cast a historic, which he is, return target non land permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. I think I will choose Skullclamp. It gains Violet, haste. You gotta put in Search of Greatness in your deck, too. Alright, uh, I will attach the Skull Clamp to my Phyrexian Might, killing it. 
Yep. Nice. This Five again. Two cards. Oh! I've seen this one before. This is nice. gorgeous, ladies and gentlemen. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. One, two, three, four, five. Do I got the black mana in here? I do! Five. Oh, Don't do it. no. Don't do it. Two. Ooh, okay. Well, then I have to do it this way, then. So I'll untap this planes and tap my soul ring. What exactly happened to get the soul ring or the coal clamp back? Uh, Moira and Tishar. Oh, okay. Trigger, Store trigger. Of yeah. yep. entering. It'll go away at the end of the end, next end step and it won't be able to come back, so don't worry. So, I'm uh, paying six for Planeswalker of my own. Vraska, Betrayer's Sting. Enters with six loyalty. I can draw a card and lose a life and then proliferate. I can turn a creature into a treasure. Is there even any good stuff for that? There are. I could turn Gishath into a treasure. That sounds... I could, I could turn Herald of Anguish into a treasure. Yeah, he's done his thing. I could turn <laughs> Silvala into a treasure. But I, I don't know Brandon's dinosaur thing he's got going on. So... I think... I'm just looking at me, me, Nick, and Brandon with a stick going like, come on, do something. You you were kind of a side effect. Uh, and honestly, I didn't have anything better to play than what I did. So. I'm sorry, Brandon. I'm going to turn your Gishath into a treasure token. Okay. He knew you treasured the card pretty well. Um, So... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Gisheth actually becomes the token. He doesn't die and get yeah, replaced. Yeah, I mean, right? you could sack him. He is the token. Yeah. He loses all yeah. other card okay. types and abilities. Gotcha. So you can sacrifice him. And then replay him with the mana. Haha. Exactly. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that is true. Oh, uh, and then... I've got one white mana. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to go to combat going to swing Moira and Tashar over at Nick. Or not Nick, Brandon. Sorry, Nick. Then... Can't do nothing supplier. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. And I'm gonna give it uh, Rhea Evor's ability. So it's gonna be a 5-6, or am I right, Matt? Doing it. Is it just plus one plus zero? Yeah. It's, it's going to be a five five. I think it's not. Whenever it deals damage, uh, prevent that damage, create that many ones. I think it's only if that guy attacks the battle cry. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. So it's just a four five. But its damage is going to be prevented. So you're not actually taking any damage. I'm just making mites. At the beginning of combat in turn, the next time target creature would deal combat damage to one or more players. I don't. Does he have to attack? I don't think so, right? The battle cry no, ability? He doesn't, but the ability the will... No, he's talking about the battle cry. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So you're swinging so him at me, but it doesn't do damage it, to me? It correct? doesn't hit you. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I see what's going on. I'm on the same page. All good? Yep. Okay. So I get a Phyrexian Might. I get four of them, technically. Uh, oh, boy. And then using my white mana, I'm going to Skull Clamp one of them. <laughs> Does anyone have any poison counters on him yet? I don't think so, right? No. Oh. Okay. No poison counters. 
If one of us gets three, all of his mites get lifelink, by the way. Yeah, but I'd have to hit somebody with toxic. This deck, yeah, doesn't, yeah, really, yeah. This deck doesn't really have a big focus on poison. The so proliferate's not really for that. Okay, uh, so... And I'll pay one life from Gix to draw a card. Oh, no, it didn't deal damage. Yeah, I was going to say, the damage got prevented, right? Yep. Uh, uh, Austin's like, y'all can't stop me from drawing cards. You can't do it! <laughs> I'm just <laughs> drawing cards forever. Uh, okay, end step. A Phyrexian died under my control this turn. Proliferate. So, five, six, and then I'm going to pass That her. Planeswalker there is nasty. She is nasty. You say you pass turn? Sir. All right. Untap. Draw. Will Clamp has been exiled. That's exactly it's what we needed forever, right there. Gone forever, finally. Alright, we One, need two, right there, three, boys. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have eleven mana here, huh? How many lands do you have? Uh, ten. Uh, how much mana do you have open, Austin? None. None. <laughs> None. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I know, right? What's the biggest power on the board right now? I think it's Ryan's 5-5. Five, 5-5, five. Five, five, huh? Yeah, I've got a 3-4 is my biggest. Are you kidding me? Okay. Uh... Yes, so Excellent. Uh, excellent. Right. <laughs> uh, sack my treasure, which is Gishaf. Thank you, buddy. You did good. Really treasured him, didn't you? One, I sure did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I'll cast the Waking Sun's Avatar. Oh boy. Uh, seven seven. So I'll trigger the Sibala, right? Yep. You'll draw a card. Draw yep. a card. Heck yeah. And uh, nasty. And, and then destroy all non -dinosaurs. I cast it from my hand. Destroy all non-dinosaur creatures. Right on. Right on. I'm well. Harold, I love you, but it was destined to happen. <laughs> <laughs> that card's really fun. I used to play it like way back in Aether Revolt Standard with an oh, improvised yeah. deck. Play it on like turn four and just stare at people. All right, start discarding your hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's rough, man. It's like the old Tegrid. And I, and, yeah, I'd, and I'd have like three or four artifacts that I cared nothing about once I played them. <laughs> so then I'd just sack, 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 kill all your board. <laughs> Yeah. All right, I do wish that there was some way I could get dealt yeah. damage. Yeah, just <laughs> just a little bit of damage to the raptor would be neat. Um, instead, I think I will hit Ryan for. Oh, you want to do that? There's a planeswalker over there, dog. Don't even have blockers in front uh, of it. Oh, he doesn't have mana. You're right. Sorry, I was scared of the incubators, but I was. Yeah, you're right. You're uh, I'll swing four at the uh, at the planeswalker. I'm glad you said that, Ryan. I was terrified he had mana for the incubators. No uh, incubation right now. Pass turn. Hey, he's gonna incubate those next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, you get in while I can. Attack you if you have an incubator. <laughs> Look at my scary, threatening dude. artifacts. Oh my god. He's got, scary. He's got three six sixes just waiting, oh, dude. Just well, wait. Six, seven, these are seven sevens. Oh, god, <gasps> Even scarier. Too bad Brim has doesn't trigger anymore. They all died. Mm. I wasn't expecting it. I knew Brandon had some wipes in there, but I just like my brain turned off. I assumed after it went around twice and no one wiped that no one else was gonna play one. <laughs> 
I top decked it. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Better lucky than good. Absolutely. Got Animar. Soul of Elements. That was the first ever commander deck that I had. Bought the pre-con. Nice. Oh, Animar. Interesting. I thought about rebuilding him. Replay her again? Poor gal. Right, I also got <laughs> landfill trigger. No game. Actually, I won't get two life in this landfill trigger. I'll put a counter on. This guy oh, makes stuff him. cheaper. Yeah. Let me. I play my land, right? <laughs> Let me play my commander for one less. Remember how to play magic. Neat. He's got two counters? Or one? I can do anything. One, one from the trigger and then one from casting a creature. Oh, oh that, that checks out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run to the restroom really quick. Turn okay. Well, done with my turn. I untap. Uh, upkeep. Nothing happens. And then draw step. Uh, my oldest reborn I triggers. Yeah. I draw we step. Discard, right? Each opponent discards. Oh, it's draw step. A card. A card. A card. A card. Uh, a I will time. discard the Knight of the Stampede. Unfortunately. I should have played my slime instead of my commander and pulled that up. <laughs> mm, that would have been nice. Would have been nice, because I think the third thing's pretty scary on it, too. It sounds like he takes something, but he'll probably yeah, take from... something. I, I reanimate. Yeah, reanimate something, bro. I got a 10-10 dinosaur. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to replay this verdict catacombs for like the sixth time and fetch, because I don't draw <laughs> lands. Alright, but that's why that Crucible World is so important to my deck. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice if I happened to hit a fetch that could get red because I'm quickly running out of swamps. <laughs> and there's another swamp. And yeah, I went down to 31. Did we all discard a card for all the yep. reborn parts? Yeah, that's the reborn part two. Yeah. Other than that, I just fetched. Okay. How many lands do you have, Brian? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Good old, you know, Golgari ramp over here. Not Golgari, Rakdos ramp. <laughs> Rakdos <laughs> ramp. Got that Rakdos ramp. Oh, I have some interesting, weird things going on. Um, how much mana do I actually have? Nine, ten, eleven. All right, well, let's see how this goes, and then I'll make more decisions after that. <laughs> I'll tap for three, two of it being red. I'm gonna cast a Scab Clan Berserker. And then I'm gonna go to combat and swing it at Austin for two. Okay, I take two. On combat damage, it'll become renowned. And when it's renowned, whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, they take two damage. Very slick. I like it. Alright, how much mana do I have left? Perfect. I'm gonna pay three, add Obosh to my hand, and then pay five and play Obosh. Hey. Obosh. So your stuff deals double damage now. Correct. Yes, the Austin. Alright, uh, untap, oh. Lose two life, then a light, and I draw an extra card. All this deck does is draw some cards. <laughs> Apparently. So much card draw. Hidden, tucked away in there. my soul ring for a talisman of hierarchy is that a non-creature spell oh yeah four you damage you take four beep, beep, beep. <laughs> uh, uh i don't remember which one it is i need to use those more <laughs> <laughs> we hit one go yeah yeah right 
blow out somebody's speakers. Yeah. I believe this one's safe. Oh, that was hey, it. That was the one. one. <laughs> so I've got one, two, three, four, five. That's the next seven, segment nine, on this channel. It's going to be soundboard roulette. We're going to have no clue 11, what's on there. 12, 13 mana. 13 mana. Thank you. Uh, where to put it? <laughs> what was that? One, two, five, six, seven. Uh, I'm gonna cast Progenitor Exarch. Uh -oh. When Progenitor Exarch enters the battlefield, incubate three uh, X times, where X will be three. Take nine. Okay. And then, and Oof, and he can just tap that guy to, to transform. transform him. Yeah. It's not nine. It's only target, it's not all of them. Yeah. It's incubate three X times. It's X not three time. X times, it's. Three, incubate three. Incubate three means I'm putting three one. Right. So they're three threes. Well, they will be once they transfer. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. yeah. Not nine of them. Yeah. Three, three, I know. Threes. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is a uh, weird. Yeah. Yeah. Three, three, threes is what he gets out of it. Three, three, well, threes. they will be three threes when they hatch. Um, I'm going to zero Braska. Uh, draw a card, lose life, proliferate. Plus one. We lose can't. We can't life. stop his card draw. Can't be done. Right. <laughs> uh, so now I'm putting more counters on all these things. Is these there a card it? that flips all of them at the same time? Yes. Uh, Elish Norn will do that. Ooh. Her backside. She will create a ton. She'll create like five incubate two tokens, I believe. Yeah. And then she'll flip all incubate. Tokens. That's nasty. And then her next ability gives him plus one and double strike. Well, you play that, and then you play the plus one over. Just then, game over. Then you play the other Elish Norn that gives all your creatures plus two plus two and all bonus creatures. And then you, play, uh, <laughs> then you play that Elish Norn, and then you play the Elish. Doubles up your entry. Stuff. Yeah, but you have to have every version of the arc too, so you can every game switch out the arc. But then you tapped out, and your opponent has Norn's Annex, and you don't have enough life to swing. So. Okay. No, just just for the lull. <laughs> I haven't seen Norn's so, Annex played in a long time, actually. I'm I'm gonna order it for this deck. There's a bunch of cards I didn't have on hand, and I'm like, oh, that'd be fun. So I'm gonna cast uh, Ran, Executioner Thane. Whenever one or more other creatures you control die, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. This ability only triggers once each turn. Alright. Or a shards. Pop, 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 pop. No. <laughs> Then I'll pay two. We're hatching. Hatching. I'm hatching one of my tokens. So now I have a 8-8 eight, eight Phyrexian. And I'm going to swing it at Ryan. Whoa. It blocks. Sure. No blocks. No blocks. Take eight. No blocks. Wow. Uh, can I add Phyrexian Might to the attack while I'm here? Okay. I'll kill it. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Uh, whenever a creature I control dies, each opponent loses two life and I gain two life. Wow. Yeah. Each opponent? Mm -hmm. Each opponent. Loses two life and you gain two life. It only triggers once, so it's not unbelievably yeah, you can't busted. just keep doing it over and over. And then I will pass turn over to Brain. Here we go. I'll untap, upkeep, and draw. Brain's like, and I bounce, waving the guns back to my hand, and then <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, that's laughs> <good>. again. <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna play a mountain for my land. That'll put me at 11 lands, if that matters. Why's Brandon still got so much life? Some dinosaurs are there being resilient or something? Yeah, them blockers, you know. I feel like I'm just swinging him. I have his swung at him other than like Austin once. And Austin prevented the damage the one time he swung at him. <laughs> I wanted to. Two, three, four, five. Well, yeah, I'm gonna spend five mana and cast a Temple Altasar. Uh -oh. uh, three, four, if a source you would deal damage. If a source would deal damage to another dinosaur you control, prevent all but one of that damage. Uh, oh, slick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I will go to combat, and I will swing the Ripjaw Raptor at Vraska. Do I want to swing the 7-7 seven, seven in anybody? I should probably do that too. I'll swing the Awakening Sun's avatar at Austin. Yeah, Ripjaw at Vraska, the 7-7 seven, seven at your face, Austin. Okay. Uh, I'll block the avatar with progenitor exarch okay ripjaw raptor and then wandering sun's avatar seven right uh yeah seven seven that's coming at your face the rip draws a four five going at your planeswalker uh i'll transform one of my four four incubator tokens okay okay And so your Ripjaw is going to kill my Progenitor, and the other one's going to kill the Phyrexian. And then everybody's going to lose two life and all. All right, and I'll draw a card from Ripjaw Raptor taking one damage. All right, I think we're just going to be collateral damage. Maybe. Uh, that'll be my turn. I'll pass. Uh, and just start, I can just start sinking all my, all my uh, mana into life again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, do that staff, dude. I will uh, put that on the bottom. Untap. Two mana, uh, one life. Three mana, un. Oh, you can't untap the staff. Oh, you can. One. I'll play oh, yeah. two life. Three mana, one life. That's not too bad. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Ryan. Are you just untapping? I have no cards in hand. I play land and pass. Oh. Did you scry or anything? With your... I scryed and then I drew a land and then oh. I played it and I passed. Okay. How many lands do you have? Four? Eight? Eight no. Ten? Okay. He has a million. Yes. <laughs> Untap. <like> land drops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, draw, and that'll trigger the Eldest Reborn. It's three, so I get to put a target creature or planeswalker from a graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. Tell me what I need to get, guys. To help with I've the situation. Got a swooping lookout, progenitor exarch, uh, Gix, via Ivor, uh, Moira and Tashar. I like that. Uh, I mean, probably the best thing that I've got is the Gigantosaurus. It's a 10 10 and it's a odd mana cost, so. Oh, it's yeah. actually a 20. Swing for 20, huh? You, huh? <laughs> Outside of that, I've got a Topiary Stompers, a 4-4. It's also odd mana cost, and I've got the 2-5. It gets uh, me a land? Too. Or it'll ramp you. The stamp. Yeah, that'll get you a land. Uh, it'll be a 4-4 Vigilance. Nick has a Slime and an Omna. It's a Vala. Vala. He has a couple uh, cards. Yeah. He's got I the Risen have, Reef, too. I have Cure. Oh, he has Cure also. Ooh, Wild Magic Sorcerer is my first spell kick. Oh, it's only from Exile. Yeah, yeah. never mind. Never mind, just kidding. This was tapped eight, not two a sec. 
what's the Moira do? If, if I play a historic, I get something back. You can return target non-land permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield that gains haste exile at the beginning of your next end step. That's pretty good for uh, your deck. <laughs> yeah, it's not the worst. I think good to get back with it though. Mm. Not really anything spicy. I guess I'll just get acidic slime. Nick. Um, should I use this egg to represent the acidic slime? And I uh, destroyed Brandon. Yep. Just like yep. that. Boom, dead. I can see. Good night. <laughs> um, You're powerful. I'm going to hit the Phyrexian Arena. And then I got a 2 2 Death Toucher. Alright, that was my draw step. I will play a fetch land and then fetch because huh, what else am I doing? That's what I'm saying, dog. For yet another swamp. I'm actually just going to pass there with a lot of mana up. Oh. Yeah. I'll draw a card. I will lose a life. And uh, I will get a might. A mighty might. A mighty might. I'll, I'll do uh, Grass to Zero ability. Draw a card, lose life. Alive. I'm hurting myself more than I'm hurting anybody else. <laughs> How's that for? <laughs> I'll play a tainted field. Uh, I need a flip Three. No, no, it's less. Two, three. I got a lot of good choices in the battlefield. So I think I'll pay... Three? And I think I'm going to Vindicate, taking four damage. Um, Brandon's dinosaur that helps prevent Ooh. damage. Okay. Indicate. Indicate. Target. Uh... Tracks of Skitterfang. And just a battlefield with three oil counters on it. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may remove an oil counter from it. And when you do target creature you control gains, your choice of flying, vigilance, death touch, or lifelink until end of turn. And then. I think 
think I'll transform my other 8-8 incubator back to that. Up. Uh, I'm not missing any things. At the beginning of combat, I'm going to give this 8-8 lifelink. And then I'm going to right. swing Before you lifelink. declare attackers, I'll pay, I'll pay four and tap the lifelink guy down. Hey, what a okay. play from the staff. Okay. Dominate me, daddy. That's what I say. In that case, uh, still go ahead with my original plan and swing eight into Ryan. Or nine with the might. Mighty, mighty, mighty. Yeah, I'll block the might with, with the, the Obash. And I'll uh, death touch the other guy. Okay. Oh, he's got. Oh, it's the acidic slime. Yep. 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 Okay. Uh, each Nick, opponent loses two life. I gain two life. Acidic slime's back in the graveyard. Yep. Yep. Lose two. Go to 33. Uh, we all lose two again, right? Yeah. Yep. Correct. Uh. I will last turn. We'll untap. Draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh boy. I'll recast your chef. The wax said none. All right. I'll play this planes for my land drop, snow covered planes here. Uh huh. So I will go to combat. Everybody seems a little too okay here. I would offer that you don't swing it at me <laughs> or insinuate that you are. I can't sing. Uh, Austin, you got plenty of mana on tap there, don't you? Oh, yeah. Gucci gang. Oh, you can take out some of those guys and just replay your shaft next turn. <laughs> I mean, technically, I could. Uh, however, I'm not. Uh, the other option would be Nick. He's got mana open, too. I have no cards in the hand. Ah! I'll swing... Seven. Black some of it, Nick. No issue. Yeah. With the protection. I'll swing yep. that one at Nick, and I will... How big is that guy? He's a 3-5. He deals double. Ah, uh, yeah. I got big things down there. Damn. How big is this guy? Two two, you'd have to get Um that's, that's fine. I'll just yeah, I'm just gonna swing Gishath at Nick. Alright, I'll block with Animar so it'll prevent three damage. I'll take four. Okay, I'll flip four. One. Oh, that's a one to hit. <laughs> oh two <laughs> oh. three. Four. All right, well, yeah, still <laughs> out of the one I could hit, a 12 12 trampler is pretty decent. I'm a fan of that pyrohemia. You can put that I one like into it. play. I, like <laughs> it. Yeah, I wish, dude. That'd be great. Um, all right, I'll just uh, pass my turn after that, I guess. 
Wait, other people can play that card? <laughs> That's allowed. The green skin, green dinosaur. How could you? I know, right? I'll put a land and put a counter on my dude and pester. Rough time. Me and Nick need the card Poor draw. Nick, man. Uh, at the end step there, I'm going to pay one and untap the staff and then pay five and tap it to draw a card. And then I'll go to my turn and untap. And draw for turn. Alright, I have a land. I play a Kerr Keep. Kabolds, here we come. Ooh, here we go. Man, I wish I had more impressive things to do. Um. Gonna fast turn and sit here and be annoying. Ooh. Yep. Raw. Lose a life. Get a mite. All the fun things we do on this channel. Uh, in Nebraska. Draw a card. Lose a life. Proliferate. Biscuit for the risk it. I'm gonna pay two and cast a demonic tutor. I Four. will respond to the tutor at my own risk because it's time for this game to probably end. Oh. <laughs> um. I'm scared now. I'm going to pay five and do what's called. A get out of here fast card. Good speed. <laughs> and I'm gonna flash out a dictate of the twin gods. <laughs> oh, so Austin's Ryan's, gonna take. Ryan's worried about some damage. <laughs> so I take eight. Yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I already take damage? Where's the uh, history? Oh. Game one. <laughs> oh, there uh. Lost the life, I lost the life. Okay, so we're good. So 23 to 15. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, any other responses? Uh, no. By the way, I doubled everyone's damage. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and my damage is quadruple. Well, I fully expect the game to end now. It should. Before it gets back to me. <laughs> I don't know if I can win. This deck doesn't have, like, some massive infinite combo that... Right, just turn it on and, and end the game. I only have one. <laughs> it's on the board, but I can't do it. <laughs> I have none, dude. I just play dinosaurs and hope for the best. I have drawn... Not well, but my deck 
is a little stale, and I haven't played tested it at all. I don't see tarot card set boost in the game. Yeah? I guess if we're gonna end the game, we'll end the game. I'm not gonna end the game. <laughs> I got a lot of damage, but I don't think I am the game. I don't know. I got a 24, 24, uh, 24, 12 Brampler. I mean, we got 15 life, 16 life, and 23 life over here, so. Other than you, were almost dead. Y'all feel free to storm <laughs> off. I'm not supposed to do that, Ryan. I don't know. <laughs> I would love I've for you to hit card. any card other than a land, Nick. I'd love for it. Just shuffling up the rest of them. I mean, it was like I could have like tried to draw something on my turn, but it's five mana to draw a card. That's a lot of mana. Yeah. So that was one two. So I need. I'll check if I die. One, what the top two, card was. Three, four, five, six, seven. I cast Kindred Dominance, choosing Pyrexians. For all creatures that aren't the chosen type. You take eight for it? Taking eight for it. Okay. Good. My hands I was actually rather good this game. I just haven't got that like last little piece to make it all fit together and work right. I'll pay two for a brave the sands. Then I will transform the eight eight. And then might as well do the other two. Why not? So the six sixes. And we still have Dictate of the Twin Gods on the field. Yep, double damage. Correct. Oh. I'll remove Oil Counter. Give the six six uh, lifelink. I have a lifelink token. And then I will. Let's see what we need. To... At combat. Whenever you go to combat, I'll tap uh, the six six life linker down. Whatever he, whatever he has, six six whatever he is. Yeah, six six okay. I believe. So I'll swing the ten ten at Ryan. Should get him. Bye, Ryan. Ah! You should join the last. <laughs> I know cards in hand. Cards <laughs> effects. Spend the. Send an eight eight sixteen at. Brandon, I'll swing a 6-6 six, six at Nick, and then I'll swing uh, two two twos and a 1-1 one, one at Ryan. What you gotta do is you gotta kill Ryan, and then Brandon, and then me, in that order. Exactly. So if you swing anything at me, it means that you're already dead, right? <laughs> Alright. Am I only taking 16 damage? You, you'll be taking 16. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you play Gishoth and win? That'll put me at 17. Okay. Nick will take 12, and then Ryan will take 
20, 24, 28, 30. 30. Damn, Ryan dead as hell. Ryan's going to activate Kirk, make a Kabold. And then block the 10. Okay, so Ryan will take uh, 10. Oh, Ryan's not dead. Not dead yet. Look at him surviving over there. Barely. By a hair, baby. I was really hoping Austin was just going to swing the 10 at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm sure he's got something he can do, so pass it over to Brandon. All right. Game oh, should be I'm, ending uh, soon. All those guys are tapped oh. now? Or no, they have Vigilance because of the other card. Vigilance. Yeah. Okay. Has the chat been updating for you guys? Uh, I don't think uh, anybody said anything in a long time. In a while. Yeah, I think it's been a minute. If they have, it hasn't been updating. Yeah. I was hoping uh, to get one of the new Praetors out, but I haven't yet. Uh, unfortunate. I'm going to pay 12 mana and uh, cast out a Gishath. Gishath. Uh, it's Gishath again. I can't kill Austin. You could try. Kill Ryan. Uh, I mean... Or you could kill Nick. I could. I can kill either one of these guys. If I let Nick have the opportunity, do I take Ryan out? I got Ryan's gonna I make. Ryan's making it easier for me to kill else with that doubler on the field. It would make more sense to kill Ryan. He also probably his cards. On what did I do to y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's getting defensive. I'm doubling y'all's damage to kill Austin, and y'all just are like no. Kill Ryan. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get through to kill him. You can kill a ton of his stuff if you just swing at him. It's been the entire game. like zero times. I guess I'll say he's what? He's fourteen. So he's swinging at me or you? It makes more sense to swing at you. I wish I had one more mana. This would be so much better. Um. It's not gonna draw anything. Well, either way. You can only deal six to me. <laughs> I think you should just take him out, and then we can get to the end of the game. I could do that. Oh, I put us in the end game. Well, you're welcome. I guess I'll die first. <laughs> How big is okay. your uh, your Phyrexian over there? Which one? So you got a 10-10? I've got a 10-10 and 8. Or, oh, no. 10-10, 9-9, uh, a 6-6, six, six, a 2-2, two, two, a 2-2, two, two, and a 1 yeah, I, 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 there's nothing I can do here. I just want to flip some cards. Uh, I'll uh, I'll just take Nick out. Me and Nick will stare at each other and see how they end this thing over here. What if I can seed before damage is done? Oh! oh. oh. What was your top Man. card, Nick, before you shuffle? Were you drawing anything? Man. Was this the next card? Oh, oh, oh a ramp of growth. Ramp. That oh. high land oh. value is just, uh. yeah. I'm going to I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna flip anyway. Yeah. I'll put you out of your misery. One. Two. You go 14, Brandon. Three. Four. I believe, five. right? That's yep. Damage. You should, yep. yeah. Nine. Seven. Wait, what am I? <laughs> Nine. Good thing. Ten. Can I still eleven, defeat in the clutches 12, of victory? Thirteen. Fourteen. Jeez. You got three. Oh, yeah. You got the Teresk. I got the Teresk. And you did 14 uh, cards and only hit three? Jeez. Hit three, yeah. You got dinosaurs in that deck or what? <laughs> Allegedly. Um, no right, ATVs so that are important? That's what I'm yeah. making sure. You may play additional land. That doesn't matter. Uh, uh, has haste and ward as long as it was cast. It wasn't. Uh, already attacked. 10, 10. Yep, and already attacked. And whenever. We, uh, 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 yep. So, no, they don't do anything. Pass turn to Ryan. Oh boy. Let's see if Ryan can pull it off. I doubt it. Like, I'd have to have an otherworldly top deck right now. Lightning bolt. Maybe if I had um, both doublers, I'll still. <laughs> yeah, double, yeah, double doublers, but just the single. Yeah. So, a bolt with the quadruple would be 12 for one mana. Wow. Need a. Need something that deals four damage. Alright. Top deck of the century, let's go. We got the Stranger Things song to pull me through. Right. Interesting. I like interesting. 
Interesting. I don't know if it saves me, but the game doesn't end. I did put my points on Ryan winning this game. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I'm gonna pay one I'm gonna pay one red and blasphemous act. <laughs> each creature? Yeah. Twenty six to each creature. I can do about it. Each uh, each cre each opponent's gonna lose two life, and I'm gonna gain two life. Yep. It's not damage, so it doesn't double. Oh. Oh no! All my Phyrexians. I need 14 oh, mana to cast cast Gishef now. I think I'm just gonna yeah, go ahead and pay five. Something nasty. And tap staff to draw. Interesting. You're telling me I just need to top top deck a haste dinosaur to take this thing home now. Oh yeah. You mean Pegasus? Uh, I need fourteen. I need two more mana to do that. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna pay three and play a Magus of the Wheel. Uh, if you want to activate that, that would be cool. No haste, my friend. No haste. Oh. No haste. I will pass I turn. All right, oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I get a fire scene. Hearts. I lose a life. I'm gonna hurt myself before it gets better. Raw. All right, let's do damage right there. Is it uh, damage or loss of life? It's loss of life, right? Loss of life. Yeah. Doesn't deal damage. No, no, I mean, uh, the might. <laughs> might got two damage. It doesn't oh. have haste either. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a card, lose life, and proliferate. Alright, uh, it, this is interesting. I suppose. I don't know if it's gonna do it for me. I'll pay one for Corrupted Conviction, uh, which is village rights, basically. Uh, sacrifice mm -hmm. a creature, draw two cards. Yep. Sure. Oh, well, what else would your deck do besides One draw some two. cards? <laughs> okay. What creatures does everybody have in their graveyard? Oh boy. Got a bunch. Uh, oh boy. The Terrace. Terrace. I've got uh, Quartzwood Crasher, Waking Sun's Avatar, Riftjaw, Galta. Uh, What's okay. uh? What's yeah. the one that, what's the one that kills, uh, the creatures on the board as it enters? Yeah, it, it, it has to be cast. Yeah, when you cast it, just uh, destroy all non-dinosaur creatures. Um, I have the Hasty Prison two two. I've got Obosh and the Herald. I'll take the. Arresk with Reanimate. Oh, I can't do that. That'll kill me. <laughs> I forgot Reanimate. Dang it. Life. Perfect. All right, <laughs> hold on. Great. Yeah, Reanimate's also damage, not loss of life, right? Reanimate deals the damage? Or am I? Uh, you What's lose the life equal to its converted mana. Okay, never mind. Yeah. So I can't do that. So you got seven to work with. Uh, five, five that drops the extra lands. Uh, six, six trampler. Creates tokens. I think it's Obosh. 3-5, but he's doubles his own damage, so he's really a 6-5. What do you have that has Rample, Brandon? Rample? Uh, I think just the Quartzwood Crasher in my graveyard. Uh, a Galta, but, you know, 12 there. And the Quartzwood Crasher has how big? It's a 6-6 six, six trample. Whenever one or more creatures you control with trample deals combat damage to a player, create an XX green dinosaur beast creature token with trample, where X is the amount of damage those creatures dealt to that player. I'll risk it for the biscuit. We'll take that. Okay. Five. I'll pay 
two, play a lightning greaves, and then attach it. Ooh. In response, I'm gonna fetch. Okay, whoa. Go to three. Grab a regular mountain. And then I'll pay one, untap the staff. There you go. And pay four and tap them down. So now I've got a tapped Quartzwood Crasher. Uh, or five, six, seven, eight. Or Bramaz. Whoa. Move to attach lightning greaves. Mm -hmm. uh, let me change how I tap for him. Silly. Something like that. Uh, okay. So, Brimaz is basically a 6-4, right? Source would deal damage, it deals double damage. Well, yeah, double, yeah, 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 I see what you're saying, yeah, 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 1 for Changeling Outcast. Uh, incubate 1. Uh, I'll attack Ryan for 6. Unfortunate. I have to block. Yep. Uh, um, Should we trade? No. Yes. I guess damage a double two. No, he's yeah. a three four. Oh, yours deals double. Yeah, we deal double damage back. Ooh. Nasty. Okay. So, two will die. Hmm. That was probably my chance to win, though. That guy, <laughs> the yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. I'll move the Greaves onto my Quartzwood Crasher. Yeah, I think we're just kind of delaying the inevitable here. And then I will... Unless I thought like something silly. Yeah, Brandon could turn. just fill it out of nowhere, probably. <laughs> yeah, I really, didn't know, really, what really to grab. I really yeah. didn't know what to grab with the Tudor. I was going to grab Norn, but I'm like, yeah, the game kind of needs to get to an end. Like, we're kind of just sitting here. That doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Um, I don't have. Unfortunate. I could do that, but there's really no point in doing that. I don't think. How much does gift shaft cost now? Fourteen. And I have twelve. Um, I guess, do I do it just to cast the spell? Screw it. One, two, three, four. I top deck Wrath, so I'll cast it. Thanks. Wrath of God, destroy all creatures? Yep. Pretty interesting. <laughs> it's sort of the Ver six, six trampler that makes more tramplers. So, I mean, if you're gonna stay in the game, I guess killing these creatures just buys yeah, you time. Sorry. I'll pass turn. That's all I can do. Uh, I really needed that wheel if I was gonna win, unless I top deck a miracle. I can use staff to draw again, like I did last time. Though, I guess I get two draws. It's close. 
All right, draw for turn. Not what I want to see. See, this is a fun end state for the game. We're all just like, <laughs> we're not sure what's going on. It's not some, I like it more. I like this so much more than someone's infinite combo going off. Yeah, just waiting to figure or, out how they put something. it together or something. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is more exciting. This is hard of the cards here. This is going to top <laughs> deck the winner. This is hard of the cards. I'm going to pay five and sap my what staff. Ooh, you Yeah, this is how a lot of the tournaments me and Ryan would play against each other would go. All right. That is something. Uh-oh. I like something. Am I going to win my 100 points back, Ryan? I'm going to pay three. Lightning bolt. <laughs> All I need to do. <laughs> it's got to get bonged for one damage. On the right, yeah. That's three. it. <laughs> or is three the right play? Hold on. Big brain. Big brain. Not the right play. This is the right play. Oh no, hold on. <laughs> the math. On, wrong play again. <laughs> the math doesn't add up. <laughs> I gotta cast the card, not just the enhancers. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. Deep breath. Already lost the game. Alright, fine. I'll just have to do it this way. I'll pay three. Lay a gutter snipe. There we go. Hey. Now he has to draw a spell. Five. Cast skull rend. Yeah, there you go. Just two damage to each opponent. That'll be four damage, right? It'll be four damage from this and four damage from gutter snipe. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Puts me at seven. And then you have to discard two cards at random. Uh, well, I've only got two cards. Uh, in response. Uh oh. I could do this. Haha. Uh -huh. In response, I'll pay one green and I'll cast Worldly Tutor. There you go. Uh oh. <laughs> and I'll discard my Savage Stomp. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Well, all he needs is a Trampler. Ryan's well. tapped out for his staff. He's got to have haste. Haste, haste. haste trample. What has haste and trample? That gives other things haste and trample. Uh, hmm. Austin, That's possible. I must say, you got dominated. By the staff. Dominated? By the I staff specifically. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's the staff for you. Yeah. I, just, I, I didn't have a way of removing it. Like, I know it's just going to hit something, so I'll need to just keep it bothered. Brian, if you got a way to kill me, just show it. You don't even uh, have to take I've, your turn. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to find a way. I don't think I do. I've been staring at the card in my hand the whole game, wanting to play it so bad, and there hasn't been an opportunity. That, that might be fun. <laughs> that doesn't win me the game, but I think it gives me a chance. So nothing has haste and trample. What's that card, Austin? Is that the Obliterator? It's so good. That's so good. I've also got, uh, you know, I had Skithrix in here, but I also have Vindicator in here somewhere. I'm running the Shieldred. Oh, here. no! Yeah. <laughs> Shieldred and Elgenorn were at the bottom. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Massacre Warren. Uh, yeah. yeah, we'll do that one. I got the oh, Shieldred. Trample, the and he does one damage to each other creature. He's going to kill the Gutter Snipe. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be two damage. Uh, the and there you it'll go. be my trampler. Why? <laughs> I can't win. All right. All right. I discarded the savage stomp, and I have no cards in hand. All right. So, well, do your thing. It's my turn. Okay. Yeah. Good job. I'll nice. draw that guy and play, play him. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Play the sword tooth and. I will do two damage to the gutter snipe. Alright. And I'll pass my turn. Oh. Can you kill the sword tooth or put up something? I don't have to kill the sword tooth. Oh. The, the staff is going to dominate you too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. That staff's going to be tricky until you mm. move it. 
I didn't think about that, and I passed away of getting rid of it too. That I could have gotten. All right. Draw sure. for turn. I love this. I just need two land drops, and I can kiss out. <laughs> Play another land. Um. That's what I needed. Each player can't cast more than one non Phyrex spell each turn. Uh, did you see the Reddit post uh, about that card in Battles? Oh, it, it stops Battles from coming Most in. Most Battles, cool. I think all the Battle flip sides actually aren't Phyrexians. And so if you cast a non Phyrexian spell and then you flip a battle, your battle fizzles and doesn't yep. flip. Uh, this card's being slept on, and it's going to be a white staple very soon. It's uh, exile permanent it's, and it's exile non land get, permanent. It, yeah, that card's insane. It's yeah. it's basically a generous gift, but you get insanely more powerful. Oh no no no! You can kill your own. Its controller yeah. gets it. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's so much more powerful than a generous gift. Okay. Yeah, because then they still have to pay mana to turn it into the creature. Yeah. I thought about grabbing Realm Breaker and doing its negative 10, but I only have like th <laughs> three Praetors oh, in here, so. Alright, what do I want to do? I need at least five mana to tap this dude down. He's blind drawing. He can't top deck Gishat to beat me. Is it safe just to just Unless stare, I top stare, deck a mana doubler. Stare at you? Oh yeah, if you top deck a mana doubler, I guess. I just tap get shot down. <laughs> and then I kill you with the sword tooth? I'll tap it down too. <laughs> the st staff is dumb. You need to get rid of the staff of Dominique. Yeah. You're in the colors for it. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. How much mana do I have? Unfortunately, Austin, dinosaurs don't know what artifacts are. So they uh in a little bit of trouble here. That start working the set right here. You eat more cereal. Shout out, we're back. We're back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're no, back. we're good. We're back. I'm gonna pay five and finally play the card that's in my hand. All right. Uh -oh. I feel like this is game over. Uh, I've been holding this card the entire game. Been waiting for a good chance to play it, and it never presented itself. Neheb the Eternal. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. All right. Whenever this creature becomes blocked, defending player loses three life. It's not damage. Not it's damage. not damage. But if I deal damage, I make so much mana to sink into this staff. <laughs> Ungodly amounts. Yeah. That staff is going to basically win in the game. Unless it's going to win the it. game. Yeah. The staff is actually my primary win con for the deck because I also have Forsaken Monument and Basalt Monolith make infinite colorless. And then yeah. just oh, nice. <laughs> staff y'all to death. All right. Brandon, I'm going to pass turn to you. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. Draw. I'll go to combat. I'll respond. <laughs> Pay four. Yep. Activate and tap the sword tooth down. Yep. Okay. Uh, after combat, I'll pay three mana and I'll cast Rhythm of the Wild. Rhythm of the Wild. Pass turn. Alright. I'm going to. Pay five. I guess I have to fetch. I'm I'll dead, fetch yeah, to I two. I'm, I'm dead. All you have to do is swing at me. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. I'll get another mountain, but I'll untap and then draw a card. After I shuffle here. See how much damage I can do. I could have top deck swords to stall me a turn. Instead, that wouldn't have. Been I good. staffed my way to oblivion. All right. I oh, had a terrible anyway. start. Not really. Kinda. I don't know. This deck is very interesting and not great. Yeah. 
I was miles away from ever hitting anything. You had that game all. I uh, draw two. I hit a dark ritual and a valakid exploration. Big, big, big not plays. I guess I could uh, play the valakid. It doesn't really matter. I'll just swing. Bah. Yep. All right. <laughs> I, I passed over as a comma. That's who I should have taken. I forgot. I didn't think about the staff. If I played, a, if I played Valakut and fetched, I would hit two more lands. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. All right. Jeez, Good game, guys. I did on. not expect to make that comeback somehow. Hey, I won my points back, though. It was all in the plans all along. <laughs> Ran it through on purpose. <laughs> yeah, so, I should have grabbed the Sakama, and then I could have untapped, yeah. and then I could have destroyed the staff, and then I could have just zapped yeah, everything. Yeah, Sakama would have just, like, game. blew me out of the water. Yeah, yeah that's what I should have gotten. Damn it. Excellent game. Next time. What did everyone think of uh, this deck? I like it. Well, no. Well, I don't know, Brandon. Because you wouldn't have killed the gutter snipe. I had to kill. Yeah, you're right. I had to kill. Uh, well, I could have though, right? Yeah. I cast the oh, comma. Just... I untap all of my mana. Oh, you I untap it. Yeah, three, yeah, yeah, destroy the yeah. staff, and then three kill the gutter snipe. Yeah, never yeah. mind. Comma's right. everything I needed. I just yeah. I whiffed on it. He threw. <laughs> yep, I did. Yep. All right, great game, guys. Just kidding. Uh, it was a good game. It wasn't bad. No, oh, that was fun. I enjoyed that game. Hell yeah. I wish Nick got to cast more spells. I uh, wish Nick, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate, Nick. Uh, I was very interested the last time that you played that particular deck. I remember you getting Averna and Sunbird's Invocation out at the same time and just like obliterating the, in value what everyone else was doing. <laughs> I never turned my attack heated like 15 times. Mm -hmm. Something ridiculous. I just had like. I had every permanent in my deck on the board, basically. Yep. All right. Thank you guys, chat, for hanging out, watching. If you stuck with us the whole time, find us a raid target. We'll be back next week. We're going to find a raid target and get you onto some other magic. 